Gentlemen, congratulations. It's down to the two of you to decide who's going to leave here with the title of Forge and Fire champion and that check for $10,000. Now, in this final round, we're sending you back to your home forges for four days to build an iconic weapon from history. We want you to build this. Oh. This is the Elephant Tusk Sword. Dating as far back as the 6th century BC, the mighty elephant was used during warfare, often armed with the fierce Elephant Tusk Sword. This lethal weapon featured a socket that connected directly to the elephant's tusk. The double-edged blade was designed to inflict massive destruction as an elephant charged through barricades and ranks of enemy soldiers. Throughout history, there is evidence of thousands of elephant tusk swords being used in battle. However, only four pairs of these intimidating weapons still exist today. I've never seen anything like it. I'm trying to figure out how I'm even going to construct this. The terrifying feeling is starting to set in again. Good luck. We'll see you in four days. Hell yeah. My name is Matt Schweinberg. I'm 38 years old, from Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm a senior engineer and a part-time bladesmith. I'm not normally a competitive guy, but for this, I made an exception because I'm here to win. My adrenaline's already pumping through my veins, and I'm ready for that challenge. I've got my width that I'm looking for, but my workpiece might be a little too thin. I'm going to try and forge weld in a mild steel medial ridge. So I'm going to get some mild steel and try and forge weld that onto both sides. All right, now we're cooking. This sword is meant for an elephant, so the amount of force that's going to go into the blade is going to be off the charts. We want as even of a heat as we can get. Check it with a magnet, make sure that we're at critical temp, and then pull it out, drop it in my quench oil. Good so far. Don't see any cracks. All the welds held up, nothing blew apart. So far, so good. Now just to make it look pretty. I'm gonna start off by securing the blade to the socket. I'm worried about possibly overheating the blade, so I'm gonna have to take some extra care to make sure the heat doesn't travel and ruin the temper on the blade. Let that cool off. Doing a kind of test fit of the sword. Perfect. Everything goes together as smooth as silk. This blade is crazy. Um, I never would have imagined myself making something like this, so I'm kind of excited to see what kind of destruction it does, or maybe the sword blows apart, I don't know. Looks pretty sweet. My name is Jamie Simiski, I'm 19 years old, and I started bladesmithing at about age 15. My entire life I've gotten in trouble for two things, playing with knives and playing with fire. And so eventually it clicked in my mind that I could make knives with fire, and it really just went from there. Everything's looking good. I think that it's all welded up well. I'm going to start preparing to weld the socket cap onto the blade. If I do these welds incorrectly, I will end up with cracks. I could end up with the whole blade basically just breaking off. The welds ended up great, so I'm feeling good about where I am. And today's mostly just going to be making this thing beautiful. So I'm going to grind it like I would an axe. I'm going to do big convex edges because all that extra meat in there will help support the cutting edge itself. That's exactly how I wanted it. It's way cooler than I ever thought it would have been. And I'm happy with it. At this point, I could show up, and on the first hit, it could snap in half, and I'd walk away happy. I hope it doesn't, though. I do want to win. <laughs> Bladesmiths, welcome to the keel test. In battle, these swords were attached to elephants who just rammed across its opponents. Find out what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do. We're gonna go hog wild on this ballistics dummy. Jaden, you're up first. You ready for this? Hell yeah. Let's do this. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! I wasn't expecting his head to come off. <laughs> All right, James, talk about your weapon here. Every thrust was deadly. It went all the way through. What I do like is I can see the Damascus pattern on your blade there. Jaden, your elephant tusk sword, it will kill. That's all I wanted. All right, Matt, your turn, sir. You ready? Hopefully my sword's not irrelevant after this test. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have fun. <laughs> Oh. 
All right, Matt, it penetrates very deep, and on the way out, it cuts. It's a weighted weapon right here that when it thrusts, see the hole right in the middle of the ballistics dummy? It destroyed everything in there. Your weapon right here, it will kill. Thank you, Doug. All right, gentlemen, the strength test, we've mounted your elephant tusk swords on our battering ram here, and I will be attacking that armored soldier. All right, Jaden, you ready for this? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Fine. Jaden, I really have to commend you on the artistry of this blade. The low layer pattern really pops. The connections here are all really beautifully done. And for this test, that tip still has an edge. Everything is right and tight and true, and nothing's changed. Well done. Thank you. Matt, you ready to roll? Absolutely. OK. So Matt, your blade held up fine. The tip, it's a little bit duller than when it started out with, but I wouldn't run my finger down this edge. So nicely done, it held up beautifully. Thank you. All right, bladesmiths, we know your weapons can kill and we know they are strong. Now it's time to find out how sharp your weapons are. This is the sharpness test, the guillotine fruit slice. We're gonna take your elephant tusk sword, release it and try to cut through the fruit. I want to see clean cuts all the way through. Jaden, you're up first. You ready? Hell yeah. All right, let's do this. Nice. All right, Jaden, your edge here, cut all the way through cleanly. Bottom line, sir, your elephant tusk sword, you will cut. All right, Matt, your turn, sir. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's talk about your weapon here. The weight on this, it drives the cut all the way through. Your edge is sharp. More importantly, sir, you will cut. Thank you, Doug. Well, Jade and Matt, you guys both perform exceptionally well during your tests. But as you know, only one of you guys will be leaving here with the title of Forge and Fire Champion. And today's Forge and Fire Champion is... Jaden, congratulations. You won, man. Matt, unfortunately, that means you did not come out on top today. I'm going to have to ask you to please step out. I'm proud of the sword that I've turned in. They were virtually the same performance. Good job, man. Yeah, you too. And Jaden's weapon, he turned in a work of art, and I think he deserves the title. First thing I'm going to do when I get home, kiss my wife and crack open a beer. <laughs> well, Jaden, that means you are today's Forge and Fire champion. You're going to be leaving here with a check for $10,000, man. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm the new Forge and Fire champion, and I'm really stoked about it. How old are you again? 19. 19 years old. That is extremely impressive, man. Thank you. Woo! I'm so bad at emotion. <laughs>